This life is beautiful. Byron, why do you want to kill the respect I have from a man for whom I have so much respect? Why? Dad, I don't understand. I understand that Ada is pregnant. Is it true? Yes, Dad. Then how come you have not said anything about marriage? Dad, I just wanted to wait a little while to see if Ngozi will come back. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> you are waiting for Ngozi. Yet you got Ada, her sister, pregnant. Ah, uh ah! -uh. Do you think even if Ngozi appears today, ready for marriage, is it still possible to marry her? Answer me. Listen, Bayo. Sir Ejiofo is a man I have so much respect for. I don't want him to hear about this pregnancy without hearing about marriage plans. Mm -hmm. So, get ready for the traditional marriage. Did you hear that? Do you understand? Yes, Dad. Hello, hi, man. How you doing? Hello, man. I just want to let you know the traditional wedding is coming up soon. Wow, 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 really? Yeah, I just finished discussing with my father and mother. That's good news. Anything I can do, like, how is the arrangement like? I'll give you details later. Uh, just for the record, is it the same as that girl? Yeah, it's her. I thought you said you wanted to wait for her younger sister. That was what I was doing before this other got pregnant. Ho, ho, ho. Hope you're going into what you want, not just because she's pregnant. There were only two of them lined up, uh, she and her younger sister. Since she's pregnant, it cancelled out her sister, so why waste time with her? Okay, okay. Just don't do what you will regret tomorrow. If she is not in your mind, you can quit. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just want to let you know that. All right, all right. You take care of yourself, talk to you later. All right, bye. Okay. Yeah, uh, come in, come in. Oh, this guy is Hello, nice. honey. Oh, sweetheart, how are you doing? Mm, I'm fine. Good afternoon, Uncle Chris. Tamaya, how are you? I'm fine. You're looking you. beautiful. Mm. Oh. You are particularly happy. What's going on? Oh, yes, a friend of mine is getting married traditionally in Lagos very soon. Oh, that's good for them. Tamara. <clears throat> well, Uncle Chris. I want to thank you so much for all you've done for me and for Ngozi. You have changed our lives. And God will change your life for the best too. Amen. Okay, uh, I've been paid at the oil company and oh. we decided to get you this gift. Oh. <laughs> Please, it's not much, just accept it. Wow. 
this is beautiful. I am surprised. <laughs> but, but you don't have to do this. Thank you. Uncle Chris, you would not understand. I know it's not much, but it's from my heart. God will bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome, and uh, I'm glad you like it. No, I do. I do like it. It's, 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 it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, please, you have to excuse me. I want to rush down to the market and check out some prices of some commodities. Oh, okay. I will see you guys later. All right. Okay. See you. Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Good. What? You know, I have been imagining things. Like? Like how you look like in your wedding gown and when you're pregnant. Okay. So, how do you think I would look like? Beautiful. Very beautiful. I can't wait to find out. You know, I never knew my friend would be the first to get married. But all the same. Mm. When are we going to see your father? When I finish with my course. It's just about two months away. Maybe when I introduce you to my father and then present him with my nursing degree certificate, mm. he won't be as cross with me after all. You know, I have been thinking that it's possible your father is and was never mad at you. How? Did you ever speak to your father after your pregnancy? No, but I tried to... You spoke to... to your sister and she keeps telling you that your father is mad at you. Is she not the same person who wants to marry that same man that prefers you to her? You know, I have been thinking that she could be the one manipulating the whole thing, you know? But like you said, Let's wait until you finish and have your degree. Good afternoon, welcome. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Sorry, don't be offended. No problem. Uh, Martin, after a lady that just walked in here wearing a nursing uniform, does she live here? Okay, yeah, she does. She stays here in that apartment with her friend, Tamara and Rita. Oh. Hope there's no problem. Okay. No, it's fine. Uh, Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Good day, nurse. Good day. I'm, just, I'm here to see Dr. Kemi. Oh, yes. Dr. Kemi says whenever you're around, you should come to our office. That she's feeling well. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's in our office. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Coming. Hello, Ibiri. I knew you would come. Why? You're such a good person at heart, coupled with the spiritual journey you just embarked upon. So the only reason I'm here is because she said if he sees me, it might help jolt his memory back. Might. Because the chances are 50-50. Let's go. <laughs> this is Ebiere James. Ebiere, Mr. Adams. Oh, the lady that brought me here. Thank you so very much for saving my life. I guess I owe you a whole lot. Um, I don't know how I got here or what happened to me, but thanks all the same. You don't remember me? I was unconscious when you brought me in. You don't even remember your line of business. I'm afraid not. Okay. So
So what kind of business do you think you may have been into? Like, look into your heart. What do you think you could have been doing? I couldn't have done any other thing except something that empowers the youth and something that helps the poor and needy. I see. Did we meet before the incident? Because I, I need to know where I'm going. I don't even know my name. Except the doctor calls me Adams. Can you help me find out where I came from? Or what happened to me? I... I don't know. Maybe your relatives might show up. Well, they have not in the mouth. If it was an accident, someone would have reported it to the police, right? See, I don't know. Um, where was it that you picked me from? At the refuge site. Wow. Good. Why don't you take me there? Maybe it might jog my memory. I don't know. I'm very busy now. I just dropped by in the line of business. Sorry, madam. I did not mean to place a burden upon you. Not at all, yeah. I must go now. I, I wish you speedy recovery. Yeah? Thank you. Excuse me. What? So what do you think? That man in there is not the animal called Adams. That man is a decent man with a kind heart. Correct. It happens sometimes, you know. The bash he took on the head may have sent him to his unconscious level. That means, deep down, he's a good and decent man. Those wicked acts he exhibited were mere facade, born out of his personal experience or condition. His real him has surfaced. It happens. So, are you going to help him like he has asked you? Ah, my brethren. Ah, <laughs> sir, it's your first ah, senior. Your welcome, phone. welcome. Ah, Mrs. Agnes. Mr. Lu, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Ah, please sit down. Thank you. Ah, um, mm. sir, it's your fault. Yes. We are here on behalf of the church. Oh, God. Because the church is not ignorant of all that you have been going through. And that's why we are here, to see what we can do to help. Thank you, my brethren, for coming. Thank you. It has been a burdensome and painful experience. Because I, I, I know I did my best to do my work in accordance with God's command. But why I'm suffering is what I can't tell. I'm, I'm suffering for doing what is right. God is your strength. Amen. Amen. You see, my greatest problem now is that I've been asked to vacate this official residence. Is there anything the church can do for me so that I can secure a new apartment? Hmm. I'll discuss it with the board of trustees mm. and I'll get you. All right. I'll be waiting to hear. Yes, come in. Oh, sir, Jeff. Oh, Chief hey. oh, Obolabi. You know, I forgot you said you were coming. Well, it's my fault. We should have called to say that we were on our way. Not to worry. Uh, okay, welcome. Sir, it's your fault. We have to leave now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I, please, I, please, I please, hope please, we are please. not the one driving you. No. But please, please I meet uh, Chief Owolabi and uh, Bayo, his son. Uh, Chief, Bayo, these are members of my church. Oh. Mr. Simeon. Pleasure, sir. Mrs. My Agnes. Mrs. Agnes. And Mr. Odu. My pleasure, pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Welcome. Yes. So, Chief? Yeah. yeah. 
we're off. All right, all right. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. You're, You're welcome. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 Please sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. We should have called. Sit down. To say we were on the way. Yeah. So what what do I offer you? Oh, please don't bother. More so that your wife and daughters are not in. Yes, actually, let me go straight to the point. Yes, uh, we have actually come to inform you, sir, that my son has finally decided on taking one of your daughters to the altar. He has chosen Ada. And uh, we are waiting for your word so that we can start the commencement of marriage rights. This is wonderful. You want to start any time? Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Bye. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Who is there? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sorry to bother you. Does not to stay here? Who are you? My name is Efe, her aunt. Oh, the auntie that sent her out without money? That was wicked. So, what do you want? Hey, don't judge me. I had a reason to do what I did. Mm. I'm sorry. It's fine. She here? No. You can come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You said you had a reason to do what you did. Yes. I had a fiancé living with me. We were planning to get married. Until Ngozi came into our house. And then he lost interest in me. And started paying her attention. It took my fiancé and I time to get to the point of marriage. As you can see now, I'm not getting any younger now. I had to save my relationship by sending her away. Why is this Ngozi girl like this? I have always known there's something about her. Hmm? You just said, why is she like this? Yes. Today we saw her crying in that motor park. She was all red-eyed, looking lost. When she approached us for help, instinctively, I told my friend Tamara not to bring her here. Hmm. But Tamara refused and brought her here. Since that day, I have lost my friend to her. My friend hardly notices me. You see? Oh, it is in my niece's nature to take people from people. So, what is the position with your fiancé now? He left me. Because I threw Ngozi out of my house. I don't know if they are seeing themselves. Ngozi is not the man type. She's rather naive and more of church. Don't be misled by that attitude. That is what men want these days. Naive and innocent girl for marriage. Don't be deceived by her. She is not good to be harbored. Believe me, if I have my way, I will have her thrown out of this house. Mm -hmm. But it is my friend who wants her here. My friend, you had better find your own way to deal with her. Otherwise, you will lose everything to her. You don't mm -hmm. have to tell me. I have seen with my eyes. Uh -huh. Let me have your number. Mm. Later. Mm. Zero eight zero. Zero eight zero. Tamano, that is exactly what happened. I couldn't believe it myself. So, what are you driving at? No, I don't know, but I think it is expected that it falls on me to help him do something I don't know yet to help regain his memory. Dr. Kemi told me so, and Sister Mary said that it is by divine making that he is in my hands for me to help him. What do you think? Because I fail to understand it. Oh, yes, sir. We keep finding ourselves in a position to help him. 
it is not coincidental, but I don't like opening. Yeah, I don't like helping him at all. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the one being asked to help. It is all up to you. I won't be staying long. I was actually passing and I remembered your house is around, so I decided to drop by. That's just blow. Please do. Thank you. What can I offer you? <laughs> Not now, maybe later. <laughs> um, yesterday that you came to the house, I actually didn't want to open up too much about Ngozi. The truth is that she's seen one man called Chris. I'm sure he's this fiance you talked about. He's a doctor. Tall. Yes, that's him. You mean they're seeing each other? Yes. And this Chris has been doing things for her. He sent her to complete a nursing school. And she would be graduating this month, you know. The high point is that he is asking her. To marry him. <laughs> She's still not giving in yet. Maybe because of her school. You mean Chris asked her to marry him? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, oh. Chris. <laughs> Are you crying? Maybe I shouldn't have told you. No, no, no. It's alright. It's alright. Can you imagine my own niece, whom I helped, taking my fiance? I have never liked that girl. So, what are you going to do? Well, since she brought me wickedness, mm -hmm. even when I showed her kindness, I will retaliate. Yes. I will make sure she does not marry him. Mm -hmm. Chris can't just leave me like that. I am not the type he can use and abandon. <laughs> I can't blame you. <laughs> me? <laughs> I will go to any length to deal with them. Look, if you need help or advice, just call me. I know places we can go to. And don't make them go mad. Both of them. <laughs> I will be going now. But I'll be back when you've thought about my suggestions. I'll be glad to help you deal with them. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. I was on my way out. Oh. See you. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. My ears are full. Thanks for the crying. So you see? Didn't I tell you that there was something wrong with that girl? Hmm? I told you that there must be a reason why her sister sent her out. <laughs> Listen. Listen and listen carefully, Rita. I have come to know Ngozi very well. I don't care what they told you. It is Ngozi's version that I will take. Why? Because I trust her. By the way, <laughs> why did you allow strangers into this house? What if they came here to harm anyone? I, I allowed them in because they said they are related to Ngozi. Well, I don't like you allowing strangers in just like that. Hey, hello, Ngozi. Oh Lord, I'm so tired. Just going to um, um, come on, Ngozi. I understand that your auntie was here and she accused you of taking over our fiance. <laughs> so sad. But for record purposes. You asked. Yes.
She was attending to me. She walked in. I saw that look in her eyes. As soon as he left, my auntie bundled me into a taxi to a park where he met me. Are you listening? Are you? I left the house with him still there and didn't know they had separated until he rescued me from the police. When he proposed to me, I asked him about my auntie. And he said he had the intention of marrying her. But that was when he realized my auntie knows nothing about domestic chores. And then he made up his mind not to marry her. He said he lasted that long with her because he was staying in her house and that he didn't want to live in a hotel. He also said that my auntie is not a wife material. So, how can that be my fault? Have you heard, Rita? Have you heard? What has that got to do with Ngozi? What? <laughs> you know, I laugh when women say their fellow women took their man from them. Do you think men don't know what they want? Can you force a man to accept a woman? Can you? The fruit of the matter is, the man found whom he wants and he went to her. Simple. Ngozi. Don't mind them. Please, just go in and eat and rest. Don't mind them, Jerry. Go and rest. Ah. Rita. Rita, your hatred for this girl will soon send you out of my house very soon. Let me tell you, side by side, if I'm to choose between you and I will choose her instead of you. You joined them to accuse her. Have you forgotten that your own madam caught you right and dead with her husband on her bed? Have you? You point one finger to another, forgetting that the other four fingers are pointing back at you. I'm glad you made up your mind to come. Thank you very much. By the grace of God. I'm sure he's expecting us because when I told him that you were coming, he was very excited. Let's go. recognize anywhere around here? No. This is where you were dumped. That spot exactly.
Good afternoon, sir. Who? Me? Yeah. You must be mistaking me for someone else. No, he knows you. Um, let's go. Oh, I want to go inside. Please open the gates. Okay, ma. Thank you. Now you get all these letters, sir. As they play soon, now you get them. Um, let me have the letters. Hmm? Um, what of reason, Boma? I don't see anybody since about three months now. I don't see anybody at all. If you said they never pay me my salary, I just do work. You'll be paid as soon as possible, sir. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, but as we talk all this thing now, I got no talk at all. Why? Our guy is not feeling fine. Uh, what did you have? He's not feeling fine. Ah, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. These are my pictures. Who is this? So you mean you don't recognize this office? No, I don't. Okay. This is your office. Starting from the gate to this office. The gatesman was telling you that you have a lot of mails. So he gave them to me for you. So maybe later you go through them. So this is your office, and as you've, as you've seen, your pictures, and the woman you asked of is your wife. Do you remember anything? Oh no. Oh no. What's happening to me? Oh my God. I can't. I don't have a blink of anything. From that kid man to this office, I don't have one, not one memory, no trace, no sign of any remembrance.
Hey, Pierre. Nah. Once again, I thank you so much for your help. The truth is, I wasn't expecting such a rapid recovery from Adams, but it was a good try. Now, the issue is, I may have to ask you for more favor as time goes on. What else do you want me to do, Dr. Kelly? Um, I think it would be most kind of you to take him home. Yes, I mean, his time here has expired since he is well now. This place is not a hotel. Where will he go? I don't even know his house. I don't know, but it just seems to me that you're the only one that can help him. Yeah, so I'm asking that you come sometime during the week to sign him out. Have a good day. Take care. Bye. This life is beautiful.